Hello everyone, my name is Andazil. Today we'll be playing as Spain. A while ago I did a poll on my YouTube channel what kind of video I would do in more detail. And the Falange Spain side won. As Falange Spain conquered the Americas. That's uh, a tall order even for a regular video. So I'm going to split it up in two parts. And this part will be the Spanish Civil War. Um, since I've been asked to do this in detail, I'll consider this a somewhat a beginner's guide. But still, I'll have to do something that isn't already out there. Now, Spain has a lot of videos out there already. And if you're looking for a guide how to win it quick and easy and just uh, rush through it, then um, I guess Bubble Zest is your um, YouTuber to go. He's the self-proclaimed king of the Spanish Civil War, and in truth, his videos are very good. But do they help you understand the Spanish Civil War? I don't think so. That's what I aim to do here. The other YouTuber you should really have a look at is Headless Spider. He um, totally turned around the way of looking at Spain in one of his videos, uh, where you just use the debuffs that uh, pop up all around this war as a buff. and also win the war faster than ever. I consider that an advanced strategy, so I'm not going to do that here. I'll link both uh, videos that are interesting in uh, the description below. Now, <clears throat> what the target audience for this video is, is people who hate the Spanish Civil War, don't play Spain, and generally just don't do that because they don't understand what's happening. I'm here for you, I'm going to help you understand. Now, historically, um, the Spanish Civil War was a conflict in 1936. The nationalists, uh, uh, in collaboration with a monarchist, placed a coup and um, overthrew the Spanish Republic. That wasn't their first civil war, but it was certainly the one that was best remembered. In the end, the coalition of nationalists and monarchists uh, won through under Franco, who also kept those parties united. Now, in this simulation uh, of the Spanish Civil War, those parties have the possibility of falling out against each other. And then you get the Carlist uprising versus the Falange. And we'll be playing as the Falange, so we'll be aiming for that. At the same time, there will be Republicans who will try to, uh, well, win the Civil War as well. And they will be split between the D Democrats and the Anarchists. And we can use that to our advantage. Now, let's have a look at the focus tree. Immediately, um, you see that you have to make a choice at the very start. Will you play as um, either the Falange or the monarchists or the nationalists even or will you go to the popular front and there are more choices here here you can see that if you go for the nationalist path you um, will get to go for the coup as soon as possible and the popular front will try to delay the coup as long as possible to be able to disband the army which will then also trigger a civil war we will start with going for a great spain now, most of the Spanish Civil War preparations will take place in the Decisions tab, and we'll have a look at that later, because it's not active yet. Let's have a look here at the research. I usually start with the generic research, but let me explain why. Um, at the start of the Civil War, our research will be shared with the other side, and if we go for these researches, that will give us extra uh, buffs for our troops, the other side will have them too. So I do like to start with our production. If the other side manages to build factories faster, that's only to our advantage if we take it all. So start with these two. As soon as construction is done, go for trucks. Those are vital, of course. Now, for constructing stuff yourself. Eventually, uh, this civil war will split apart the country and you have some influence on where to build right now. Uh, so you will want to build into territories that will later flip to you. The northern territories are excellent for that and particularly Galicia which will also flip to the Falange. Usually Leon will also flip to us but sometimes it goes Carlist. So just start here on the left and work your way to the right with military factories. We need that production. We will get more building slots and then we'll just um, build more. You can pretty much count on Burgos being the Carlist capital, so well, this will have to do for now. 
military factory wise we will put everything on guns but keep a factory on support equipment and artillery the navy i advise you to just get rid of those uh, capital ships it's going to take years for you to finish them and there's a risk they get split apart with the other side anyway and you might even lose them so just finish off the smaller ships and eventually go into submarines, which is the most efficient way of playing Navy at this time. This will take years to finish anyway with our, you know, four dockyards. Now we have an army. If you are so playing the Republicans, you probably want to uh, park them away somewhere. Uh, doesn't really matter. This army will uh, be playing the coup and I will put them on a border here of our future territories. Now, if we pl click States, we will see, we will start with Leon, Valladolid, and Burgos, and some other um, territories. So I'm going to place a fallback line here and just park those troops uh, somewhere over here and send them to exercise to level three. Just to uh, put everyone in one army. Most of these units will be split off anyway, and it'll be a mess, but at least we'll have a slightly stronger presence here on this line. And there's an Air Force. Uh, there's no real need to bother with them. You can exercise them, but eh. This Navy, just uh, merge them up. Press G to uh, merge everything into one fleet. Assign it to an admiral and press this button to make it into task forces now if you assign an admiral you can see that this guy has nationalist sympathies so i think he's going to flip to me this guy's craven that means coward i uh, just hope he never is needed a great spain is done and we'll go for hand over to cda cda campaign chest all right, the Spanish election of 1946, you can read the story, but what matters is that we start doing our preparations for the Civil War. I'm going to slow it down for a bit just uh, to show you the menu. Now I can pause it again. The inevitable Civil War. That means you can't avoid it, right? There is some 23 divisions for Nationalist Spain and 66 for Republican Spain. Uh, that, that's not too good, but we'll um, in better that. There's two things to consider here. There are a few decisions here, and if you look at the results of these decisions, each and every one of them removes 36 days from the mission military plot. The military plot is here for 250 days, and we want that to go sooner. At the same time, the opposition also has some uh, decisions here. You can't see all of them, but you can see that they're working on a garrison. We'll get to that later. And they're doing concessions to the left. And if you look at the, the results there, add 15 days to mission military plot. These guys are trying to delay the plot, so we'll have to counter that at all times. And you have these four decisions to do for that. We're going for the phalange. That means uh, the fascist path of Spain. So it, it makes sense to do a Primo de Rivera speech, which will uh, give us popularity of fascism. But if we do that, these guys will be able to arrest Primo de Rivera. So I advise you to take the Primo de Rivera speech, but sometime later, when we have um, no to when we can't get rid of him. Um, through the focus tree, we'll have to get uh, the prisoner exchange with Primo de Rivera anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's just that it's an easy focus, for, uh, easy decision for them to take. It's cheaper and it gives them some advantages, so you really don't want them to have it. Political assassination uh, gives the other side the option to do a political arrest. Sway leader loyalty is actually the most interesting one. You can get an extra general with. Uh, nationalist sympathies yeah? Juan Modesto however we are not going to play as nationalists so I don't think this is very useful the best one is always suppress the strikes for the nationalists and just pick any of the other ones if um, this one is not available um, you must see this as like a, a balance point and um, we are going further and further to the right these guys are going further and further to the left and at some point you can't go further to the right and you can't take suppress the strikes then and then one of the others is a good option, probably Primo de Rivera. 
will do suppressive strikes now. Now there's the garrison influence. You can see all these red crosses. That means all of these territories will flip to Republican Spain when the Civil War kicks off. That sounds like a very bad deal, but and it is, but we'll improve it. Later in the focus tree, we'll secure the northern garrisons. And you can see here that we will then increase garrison control in Galicia, Leon, Salamanca, Valladolid, Burgos, Western Aragon, and Navarra. That means all those territories, those are uh, this, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, will flip to us. So don't bother clicking on those. What you always see the AI doing is that they get some territories over here to get this um, half moon. And that makes sense, I guess. Um, what I'm going to try to do is get Eastern Aragon and Catalonia. And why is that? I already told you that at some point the other side, the Republican side, will get a split with the anarchists. And if nothing else happens, the split of the anarchists will be here in Eastern Aragon and Catalonia. Now, if I control those two provinces, the anarchists will spawn somewhere else, usually in the rear of the Republicans, which will make them split up their forces and they will be so much easier to deal with. So it's very important for me to take care of these two provinces. Now, it's entirely possible you can't get full control of these two provinces, and that's all right. If you get most of the control, you can always take the rest later. You have some time for that, but it's, it's a very nice boon if you manage to get that early. Now, these garrison decisions take political power, and we have some political power, but not that much. However, our next focus will give us 200 political power. This mini game in the game on um, uh, the territories actually is in the advantage of the nationalists. They have more political power. Uh, you can see that the opposition is uh, working on one of those garrisons. They actually don't have the political power for that. Now the AI cheats, I know, but um, that's how I look at it. I'm just going to, um, you know, I'm going to start with Valencia here. Um, the AI will always counter this one. And after that, uh, I will consider them distracted and I will focus on these two here. So I'm going to start with the Valencia garrison. And we can have a close look at whatever everything that's happening. If everything is going too fast for you, just go to four speed. I, of course, have done this a million times before. I've paused the game. You can see now that this one has one green tick and two red ticks. With three green ticks, you can um, you will have the entire province to in under your control. And with two ticks, you will have most of it under control, and there will be units inside your territory you have to deal with first. Try to prevent that. Now, I am going to count on the AI to counter this one here, and I'm just going to work on Eastern Aragon now. Here's hand over the CDA campaign chest. 200 political power. You might want to spend it on something. I advise you don't. You just need to get the best out of this mini game first. Let's go to negotiate Carlos support. Here you can see that the other side is challenging our control of Valencia. So we can now continue with Eastern Aragon. Here we have to watch for suppressed strikes. You can see suppressed strikes is available again, even though concessions to the left isn't done yet. Let's just go. We need more of that stuff, not less. Electronic engineering is done and I'll go for mechanical computing. Negotiate Carlos support is done. And we'll go for the Army of Africa, one of the more important focuses here, at least in the way I play this civil war. Mm, they have gone for Guardia Assalto and concessions to the left. And this is their focus and they are not challenging any garrisons yet. Well, they are now here. This one had to, be, had to have been very expensive for them. Well, we can't do anything about that right now. We'll just um, occupy ourselves with Catalonia. This missile of Niceto 
Alcara Zamora. That's um, this guy here. He then retires, and we have Manuel Azana. And things get from bad to worse. Well, that's what you get with civil wars. Um, I'm just going to take this one here, and I'm going to focus on keeping these guys as high as possible. Might not be able to uh, last. Suppress the strikes is available, so I'll take it. At some point, I do want to get a prepare Primo de Rivera speech. I'm on two, two, so I'll just get a third one here. Army of Africa is done, and we'll secure the northern garrisons. The most important focus for the nationalists, of course. You get so many territories here, it's inconceivable to just save political power and not do any focuses. The Republican side, that's a possibility, but I wouldn't advise it unless you really know what you're doing. Let's go for this first. They are contesting me in Catalonia, but I have full control of uh, West Eastern Aragon. Suppress the strikes is available again. Let's see, secure northern garrisons and probably sink a Paquito after that. I probably have time for one more suppress the strikes and one Primera Rivera speech. No, I'll just do Prima de Rivera now. And another Catalunya. You see, I'm running out of political power fast. This one doesn't give me any. Now you have to choose between Sin Paquito and Con Paquito. It's apparently possible to get the Falange with Con Paquito, which means that you take Franco into your um, considerations. I'm just going to go with Sin Paquito and follow the straightforward path. That's 28 days and um, quite a lot of political power. Really have to keep this one up to date though. And click it again. If I'm not mistaken, I will we I will end up with both of these territories now. Because they will not have enough time to counter this one. Construction one is done, and like I said, we'll go from trucks. They are countering me here. And Primo de Rivera speech is done, and we can not suppress the strikes because we don't have political power. Now we have do, and since Quito is done, we can't do any focus. We'll just have to be without a focus. We'll suppress the strikes. Now the military plot is done in two days. That means this one won't finish either, and we can just um, sit back and enjoy the civil war. If you're playing on historical focuses, usually this is the date where the Spanish Civil War starts, so this is um, completely historical. I'm just going to uh, slow it way down. Loads of decisions here, and really there's nothing to do here right now until we get another pop-up. Here's the pop-up that will give us a choice. There are two choices here, um, and both correspond with two focuses in the focus tree. You can either Go for the Felix Ascendant, which is uh, this one, or the Supremacy of the Communion. Clicking either one of these decisions will instantly complete that focus and dump you in that part of the focus tree. Supremacy of the Communion is of course the Carlist path. This path is the Nationalist path on the Franco, but we didn't invite Franco to our club, so uh, we can't do that one. But we can do the Phalanx Ascendant, and uh, we will get an impending Carlist uprising if we do, because it's so far to the right. Our monarchist friends, who are now part of our alliance, will come into action. Let's do it. Which, under the leadership of the Falange, we will win. Instantly, we will finish the focus Felix Ascendant. Good, good, good. We can then do any of these two focuses. What's the plan here? Let's have a look. Uh, supposedly we're seeing a uh, Carlist uprising. Here it is. The impending Carlist uprising. 316 days. That looks like forever, right? However, 
Uh, that's quite a few fo focuses here. You can go for eliminate the Carlist and start your civil war early against the Carlist. You will have an attack and a defense bonus against Carlist if you complete this focus first. That is something to aim for. However, we have quite a Republican uh, problem first. So in my experience, if you go for the Republicans first and the Carlists just spawn on their own, you don't really need that attack bonus. So just ignore that for now and have a look at the rest here. You have to take a choice between these two and this focus here gives you free military factories and you can only take this one if the Spanish Civil War is still going on. So basically the choice is between going for this focus with military factories or this one with an attack bonus against the Carlist. And I know which one I like more. I like this one more. Now let's have a look here. Um, stability, suspend the constitution, Prima de Rivera, prisoner exchange. We need all of these eventually. I'm not going to do anything with fifth column. And this infrastructure focus is absolutely worthless, but I do want those military factories. They're going to be built in territories that I control and they will be with me forever. And I will lack military factories after the Civil War, so I'll go for this one first. Now there's also these two focuses here. Once Italy and Germany send volunteers, you can go for these two. They will give you certain bonuses. Uh, and you can see bonus in research for fighter models and close air support and for infantry weapons and support artillery. That's all very well and good, but eventually you'll want to go through your focus tree a little faster than that. And this, in my opinion, is not worth the effort. The extreme delay to um, get there. It's only 35 days of focus, but still. This is already a huge delay of 140 days for free military factories. I'm still going to take it down. Because I have two military factories. So sad. Alright, that's out of the way. Let's have a look here. We have an army of 47 divisions. Did you read that right? Yes, I did. 47 divisions and from those that original army I have eight divisions left now usually when you play the Spanish Civil War this is the worst part your troops are everywhere the troops are utter trash six battalions but well, it's safe to say the other side is trashy as well and you really need to organize what you have here in order to stand a chance now, you can see that I have a different setup than the historical AI. They usually have Sevilla, um, Cordoba and Extremadura as starting territories instead of these two here. I do have Eastern Aragon and Catalonia completely. If you don't, it's not that bad, but do secure these first. They will make it easier for you in the long run. If you have a lot of political power uh, at hand, I don't this would be a good time to go to war economy hmm, i can't even choose that all right but um the economy law would be nice to do something about all these units let's group them up here in africa you see these lightning bolt shaped guys you have five of them select them and put them in a separate army for now this is your army of africa I was talking about trash templates. This is the classic 7-2 with two support companies. These are your elite babies. You don't have tanks, you don't have uh, extreme pushing powers, but this is the template that will break the enemy for you. The, remember, the enemy also has these trash templates, so your good templates will just rip through them. All right, we'll get to those later. We'll, we'll save them in a separate army for now. We have those eight guys on the border here. Delete their fallback line and set an army order here about, I think. And make give them an order, just something like this. They're not going to do much, they're just going to hold this border, maybe grab a few tiles that are possible. Because army one is very confusing, I'll just call these guys army center. Because they are aimed at the center of Let's see, over here. Now we have these guys, and these guys, and these guys. 
10 divisions, uh, 12, 13, 14. 14 divisions, and we'll call them Army East. And I'll give them a line over here. Now the game is paused, no one's moving, so they'll go there eventually. But you'll see, we only have 28 units here, left here. Now we need to aim something at the north. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, just thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Fifth, uh, that sounds seventeen, whatever. That sounds like a nice number. These will be Army Group North. And just aim them at the north side here. I'll also rename it North. This is my Army of Africa, and we have these 12 divisions in the left. They are pretty much all over the place. I'll add them to this Army Center. They'll become an Army of 20, and that means a lot of units will railroad all the way over there. Time for the Generals. Field Marshal, we have Emilio Mora. He is the one and only choice for field marshal, since he's the one and only field marshal we have. Uh, he isn't that bad, but he's certainly not good. He needs to grow up a little. This central force, you'd be tempted to put in your best general here. However, I'm not going to do that. This guy is by far my best general. He also has phalanges loyalty, so when the Carlos dries up, these guys will flip to me and the others might not. You have Carlos loyalties here. If you use this guy, he gets experience, just goes to the other side, and he's gone. So I'm just going to pick another one, another Breda strategist. This one's also very good. They just have so many good generals. Here's number three. He's uh, well, mediocre at best. We'll pick him because this guy, this army will just hold the line here in the center. Army East is where I'll make my initial pushes and will give him the brilliant strategies for extra attacking power. And we have the army in the north and we'll give them to Mohammed Meziana, the otherwise best general we have. These guys don't get a general. And I'll explain to you why. First of all, we'll just um, ship them over to uh, Kyuta. You see me click here and then press Ctrl B so they railroad over there. We will then ship them over to the port at Galicia and they will then join one of the armies where we will uh, start pushing. But we are not done setting up yet. No, we're not. What happens now? A lot of these units seem to be opposite empty tiles. So we'll do manual control and just walk into a few of these territories. We won't be able to grab all of them. But every territory we grab now is someone, something we don't have to take later. So just um, enjoy yourself here. Do expect that a lot of enemy units will turn up and make this harder for you. Now it would be very interesting to grab Bilbao. So we'll just uh, keep this one over here. You walk in here, you walk over there, and you walk over here. This unit might walk out and then we will grab Bilbao. Same here with Oviedo. We don't have any troops ready here to go. But what we'll do is, uh, this one is Army Group North. We'll just set him to go over there and press Ctrl B to, um, uh, it's not working. No, but anyway, he'll walk over there. This one will pull, pin him. This one will pin him. This one will railroad over here and then press Shift. Control, uh, shift right click and then they will move in here after railroading and then they will go in here and we'll do the same over here hold right click Control b shift right click and they'll add that to their order and go into oviedo normal logic would be that if you encircle troops without uh, a port they will attrition and die but in spain those processes take years so don't um, count on that completely we've given units orders every other unit that doesn't have an order press ctrl b now and you'll see uh, we'll just have to walk here 
And once there are arrows, press Ctrl B and they'll railroad all the way over to where they are supposed to go. Keep an eye on this guy here, and you can see here that Bilbao is empty. So we'll grab that. Basically, that's what Headless Spider strategy is all about. Wait for units to walk out of cities they are occupying and just um, take them. And there are more chances here popping up, so pause the game and have a look at it. Every tile you grab now will be an easy grab later. You can also get volunteers from Italy and Germany. These volunteers have no real sense in them, they'll just attack these northern provinces. But that's fine, that's what you want anyway. Now, as soon as I have Bilbao and I have it, I'm going to already just want to stop attacking. I want him to move out of the way. Uh, same for this guy, this guy, and this guy. One of these might move and then I'll be able to walk into Aviator. Or I might not be so lucky and then I'll just have to wait. Let's try to grab this airport here. So I'm going to manually control some more units. I can grab this one here, and I need to grab this territory so I can encircle this unit and try to kill it as well. Now all these other attacks, they're red bubbles. It's going to be very difficult to grab any of them, so don't bother. We can go back to free speed. All right, another thing. We are currently at 500 infantry equipment. That's a surplus. We do have manpower, so we'll gather up some infantry divisions and train enough so that our manpower is almost gone. Seven divisions. We now have a deficit, and that will trigger Germany and Italy to send us land lease. We also could use some better relations with Italy, but they're programmed to send us land lease, so this will be fine. You can improve relations with the Soviets to get land lease from them, but ah, they usually don't have any equipment. That was the pop-up for the solidified front lines, and what that means is that every single province gets this debuff, unplanned offensive. Division speed is way down, organization regain is way down, ground support is way down, division attack is way down, and ground attack factor is way down. What, what that means is that these battles will just go on for years and years. Here you can see uh, when I hover over the, bu the bubble, this battle is basically already lost, but it will take 100, 143 days to actually be lost. So that's, that's insane. Most of these numbers are just huge now. However, we are back to the decisions tab, and you can see this. Well, it's, it's, it's like a drawing compass and a map. You can plan offenses that will remove that debuff. I'm going for the classic approach, just remove the debuff so you can actually kill these guys. And a smart thing to do would be to kill these guys here. However, I think I can take care of the north here without actually using the unplanned offensive. What I would like to do is encircle enemy units and destroy them. So I might go for this one and I might go for this one. I'm not clicking any of them. Why is that? If I wait for a little bit, the AI, the other side, will also plan an offensive. And that might be just the one I'm waiting for. So I'm going to wait just a little bit and see what they're going to do. Here you can see they're going for Extremadura. That's this section over here. Hmm, I wasn't counting on that one, but that does mean I'm going to go for Guadalajara. Then I can encircle a fair amount of enemy units and destroy them. How am I going to do that? Well, that's where the Army of Africa comes in. They're over here. I'm going to set the fleet on convoy raiding in this sea zone and this one. And I'm going to ship these guys over to Galicia. And they will do the breakthrough and encircling through any regions that do not have the debuff. Now, I click this one, it'll take a few days, and then you will see the debuff gone. Also from Extremadura, 
I might involve myself later there. There's quite a bit of territory I can slice off there. Don't forget to actually click on the lend lease decisions and get those troops in here. Sanjuro dies. That's the guy we had as a leader. Oh, too bad. We are now even more sucking than before. Probably the worst thing that can happen right now is an interception of these divisions. These are the only ones that are any good. These guys, when they actually get completed, are fairly good, to, especially compared to all the other stuff out there. I'm concentrating firepower on this tile here, so I can maybe push them out. It will take quite a while, but maybe the volunteers will help. Here come the Germans and the Italians. They start here in the left, and they will usually involve themselves in the north here. Still hoping that this tile will be uh, released from the enemy, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. And I probably just should start attacking somewhere. going to uh, make it a little easier on myself and just stop these attacks that are going nowhere. Get counterattacked immediately. That, that looks bad, but just count on the unplanned offensive to help you out here. And you can always send in extra units. You can see here that in Guadalajara the debuff has disappeared, so just um, clear out this province first. Well, that's what I'm going to do, at least. I do suspect that every game is different, so don't pay too much attention how I do exactly. Here is my Army of Africa, five excellent divisions, and we're going to attack here in the east, in the Guadalajara region. So I'm going to add them to Army East. Yes, reassign armies, and then immediately going to click unassign divisions. That means they are a part of this general. They get his bonuses, but they don't have a battle plan. So I can just manually control them. And uh, maybe I should have mentioned this, but the Spanish Civil War is really about manually controlling your units. So, for instance, I'm going to have another look. Where is this Guadalajara region? Uh, I should probably attack this tile, this tile, this tile, and this tile. Or maybe just somewhere over here so I can cut off these three provinces. So I'm going to go back to my region here and select these guys and move them over here. I can even give them a planning bonus by just making a front line uh, for this tile over here. And this is probably too expensive. Ah, I can take it. Also out of... Fuels. I'm just going to set my navy to do nothing. Stuff has been sunk. That might have been a troop convoy. That would be very good. Alright, let's let these guys regain some orc. And once they do, I am going to attack this tile, this tile, and this tile cutting off several nationalist divisions. Here we go. Uh, Republican divisions. Now you don't want to get encircled, so just um, shift-click one. Shift-click one. And shift-click one. This will um, get us over there. These guys are not fast. They are only infantry after all, but the debuff is gone, that really helps. You should give a, keep a close eye on this preparing offensive uh, marker so you know when to attack again. Now this unit um, can support attack, control, left, uh, control, right click, and you can see a blue arrow, and they are now also attacking, just pushing this one out of the way here. We can start um, with mopping up this unit over here. Uh, 
And don't forget to manually attack all those tiles to mop up these units. That's an encirclement of five divisions. That's, that's fairly good for this early stage in the Civil War. Let's have another look here. We can now see that Oviedo is ripe for the take. So just pick off these units here. I mean, pin these units and let this guy grab Oviedo. I mean, it will never be fast, but uh, at least we'll be able to um, destroy those units. And the encirclement here is going very well. We're getting manpower shortages for our uh, occupation loss. And all the Spain that we're capturing isn't uh, exactly ours. Set garrisons to max. And have a look at those lend lease. Well, we can modify that. Doesn't matter. Let's summarize what we've seen here. We've um, encircled a, a few divisions and destroyed them. This is the best way to go for the Spanish Civil War. You can push these guys back in the territories with, where the debuff has been removed, but all that will do is put these, this amount of units in a smaller territory and you'll have a harder time killing them. You need to slice off pieces and then destroy them. You can think that you will need to learn micromanagement for this, and that's correct, but this is the place to learn it. Now, Guadalajara is uh, pretty much cleared. I can do something with these two provinces here, but it doesn't really matter. I'll take advantage of the uh, removal of the Extremadura stuff here and help out over here. So I'm going to go to my general here, select these divisions, unassign them from their front line, and just um, uh, put them over here, I guess. Let's see. Uh, here. Let's go here, 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 and cut off these two units. So, nah. I need to rescue a few of these units from uh, being attacked. No, come on. Which one is still being attacked then? Not this one here. You'll probably have to manually retreat units because if you wait for this battle to end, it's going to take far too long. And basically these uh, divisions are the only thing you have to keep you going. Let's have a look. 41 days before our next offensive. Now this part is nasty, um, the debuff is gone in uh, Extremadura, but it's still here in Madrid. So if we put our unit here, they'll, they'll have a long battle, but it doesn't really matter. We'll have to go through this anyway. We're now being attacked here, so I'll just click around until you see the black arrow, and we are withdrawing from Salamanca. We don't want to spend the other 289 days fighting this battle. Bolster offensive infrastructure is done, and we can... Oh wait, I was hoping I need... I could do this one right now. I'll just secure the National Defense Council now, and then take the factories. And since this is also a debuffed area, I will immediately counterattack into Extremadura when I have the chance. Now you can use this well-possessed exploit where you would look like you're retreating this side and just go over here. But we should be fine in a few more days. Otherwise, I'll show you that trick. Seven days, yeah, sure. We appear to be retreating now, and I will right-click on this territory now. And we will just advance in here. To pin these units here with just one division. I think this is a good division. Probably shouldn't use it. Get the other one here and hold that one. All right, this one's retreating, so it's probably not best to attack in here. We want as many units as possible to be encircled. So we'll unselect one, go in here, unselect one, go in here, and let's see what happens. 
that's still the right province, and split by pressing the S key and go in here. We now have a fair amount of encirclement done. And we are almost done with this offensive. Alright, no real need to go in here. It, it's useful because it will cause the AI to panic and withdraw, but the priority is to encircle and destroy troops. Well, I guess I can still do that. And just uh, take the railroad all the way down there. And that's another two divisions gone. Almost done. Let's see if we can grab Sevilla here, that would be nice. Almost certainly cause some kind of panic with the AI. And we have an infantry expert. I'll put this guy on ambush here because, well, the other two are the offensive guys. It would be nice to grab this territory without having to resort to um, removing the debuff. I'm not sure if I can do it. I'm surprised that the AI isn't sending any reinforcements here, so... Preparing offensive is done and we can click a new one. Once again, I'll wait for the AI to pick one and they're picking Sevilla. I don't really need that. Probably will manage to finish off uh, stuff here. This is, by the way, very lucky. This is a They are doing a territory that I need to conquer. If they were smart about it, they would have done Leon or Burgos, for instance. But I'll take what I can get. And I think it would be nice to cut off the Madrid piece here. So I'll just uh, I'll click Madrid here. And finish this one off first. It's going fairly well, I guess. One free Sevilla, please. Every once in a while, just check up in the north. If troops are doing nothing, just set them to attack wherever. You need to keep up constant pressure to have any chance of killing anything with this debuff going on. And it will go faster if you, it's uh, solidified into one territory. But that will take a while. Probably need to do a debuff removal here to get anywhere, but uh, that, that's fine. The Sevilla debuff is gone, so I can just finish off this unit. And grab more territory while I'm at it. Hey, free encirclement. Don't mind if I do. And that's in a debuffless area, so... Yeah, we're doing fine. The Spanish Civil War is really about unlearning everything you heard about uh, battle lines and doing things differently from then on. Well, that's Sevilla. I also managed to get rid of the debuff in Madrid, so I can probably just slice off here and clean up the north part. So that's what I'll do. I'll take these four good units from the Army of Africa. I'll railroad them over here to the tile next to Toledo. And then I'll move them into Toledo. Unselect one. Go one further. Unselect one. And attack over here. Let's see if we can grab Cordoba while we're at it. Free territory is always good. Now we are being attacked, that is not good. Because this territory, well, we'll probably make it. But we do have serious supply issues here. And this one unit can really hinder us. But it doesn't really matter. This one will have to go. How are my units doing? Well, they're training, but they're not there yet. I probably should improve relations now with Italy and Germany because they are no longer sending me lend lease. I do have deficits, so I want that lend lease. I need that lend lease. And we're almost here, grabbing some territory. Yes, that's the Madrid pocket, and we'll just clean it up with our good units. Here comes the lend lease from Italy. 
At some point when they're high enough you can stop, but it's good to have that. And we'll go for the military factories now that the Secure the National Defense Council is done. We'll take this one, we'll skip this one, and then we'll have a look over here. I'm going to save my political power in the hopes that when the Carlists split off, I'll be weak enough, quotation marks, to go to war economy. Otherwise, I'll just have to settle for partial mobilization. That's dispersed, mechanical computing. It's December, but it really need we really need radio and we need to have better infantry. So we'll take these ones before we go ahead of time in the industry path. I'll snake up the rear here. I do seriously wonder if the anarchists ever spawn, where will they spawn? Probably just in a few tiles over here. Maybe even in the north. Portugal wants to send us volunteers. Those are always welcome. These guys are done. Just railroad them to their next assignment. And we'll mop this up probably without removing the debuff. Speaking of which, keep checking. And we're doing all right. Um, some days until the Carlist Uprising, but no, we don't have to worry about that just yet. Now this, this game is going very well and it's entirely possible we, we will take care of the Republicans and the Anarchists before the Carlists even think of spawning. Now you might be tempted to use your elite forces, your, those, that army of Africa up here in the north, to clear this out faster. Do keep in mind this is all mountains, most of it anyway, and your beautiful divisions will just melt. Alright, let's have a look. The enemy is going for a Cordoba offensive. That's over here. So that means that these B debuffs will be gone pretty soon. I will have a Cardus uprising in 126 days. And I would like to clear up this one here. It's far too many units to just wait it out. I'll just... Um, where to prepare my next offensive. Asturias, so that's these all of these guys. Yeah, let, let's just take care of those. Meanwhile, trucks have been completed, in the research at least. We'll do the into our artillery for a slight buff, and we will add trucks to our queue. Two factories, and just take them away from guns. We can get guns from land lease, and we can't get trucks yet. However, we might be able to ask for trucks now. Request land lease. And we can. That's 57 free trucks. And let's try the Germans. Request land lease. No guns, no support equipment, no artillery. And trucks. Sure, 79 trucks. Better than nothing. Getting quite a bit of experience, so just managed to. Uh, Get professional army corps and bold attack before you start working on doctrines. It's probably the best way to go. Air wise, we're not doing much, so just ignore that for now. We still have a debuff in Asturias. Here's our bonus military factories, and we'll go for. Uh, I'll go for Primo de Rivera prisoner exchange first, and that will give us. A guy with extra political power, I do like that. Gotta think long term here. These guys are done. And we'll finish off this uh, pocket. We'll also finish off this one. It isn't Cordoba anymore, so that's Granada. It does have the debuff, but they'll, they'll be gone eventually. Mm, Guadalajara does not have the debuff. I completely missed where that happened. But I don't mind. Really, that means I can pull these guys out, move them all the way around, and just cut off this piece of Guadalajara. Did I do that? Oh, I guess I did, alright. I just lost the territory again. Now, once we have a few trucks in stockpile, and we don't because I'm training trucks, it would be very nice to um, 
set my troops to militarize priority. And we here we have a very, very big encirclement. Probably better be for the best if these guys just moved out, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'll just cut off these guys and mop up the entire stuff over here. And the north is done. How's our Carlos uprising doing? Well, it's coming. Doesn't look like to be soon, but it's coming. And Emilio Mola has got Organizer, which means he can get Logistics Wizard. Get that. And there's no situation in this game where Logistics Wizard isn't your best choice. Hey, wait. Doesn't, wasn't this supposed to be an encirclement? And here's the Anarchists. I didn't expect them to come. But here they are, and it means there's almost nothing left of um, anyone. So it looks very realistic that I'm able to finish off anarchists and republicans before the Carlists even spawn. That doesn't mean the Carlists won't spawn. They will. His army in the north, I'll just park them on the border of Galicia. They should be fine there. And at least I'll have some troops on my home territory when the next phase of the civil war breaks out. Oh, this beautiful encirclement of four divisions. Let's just finish them off. This one will take longer because of the debuff. But it will be gone. Murcia is also free of the debuff. Also missed when that was happening. That's the Republicans. Uh, anarchists. Fine, fine, fine. Primo de Rivera's prisoner exchange and will suspend the constitution. And we'll ask for some more land lease. Oh, we're getting quite a few trucks here, so we're not adjusting this one. Oh, no. And we'll ask for some more land lease. Clear all. Request land lease. I'm not optimizing this. It's much too much of a hassle to continuously click this but you do get a few uh, good units out of this except the germans don't have any stuff to spare except trucks and i like trucks as long as these guys just keep moving towards valencia and i'll be able to finish this more than these thank you 20 days to the uprising we have valencia is that enough it is actually. It is only a matter of time before we must deal with the Carlists. We are not done yet. Well, it's always a bit of a gamble what flips to the Carlist and what does not. Um, in historical games, uh, you can't really compare this with. So I'll just put everything here on the one territory that I know that will flip to me. And here we are. Well, this goes to show what I know. I placed everyone here because I was sure Galicia would flip to me, but it did not. The Carlists have a huge portion here, and my army got teleported over here. Oh, well, that, we, can, we can live with that. Their recalcitrance will cost them more than us. Alright, declare war, pause the game immediately, and we're back where we started with a lot less army. And no one's over here on this front line, so I'll just delete that order. Halt. I uh, probably should remember that they're just spawning over here and I should put my units over here. It doesn't really matter, we'll just crush them, right? Alright, let's have a look. We have all our armies pretty much spread out all over. They got teleported. I think it's kind of good that I showed you it this way. I was counting on my troops to be able to stay in Catalonia, but this entire ter teleport situation is much more realistic for you guys to happen. So. Let's just go, you know. Um, we have an army group center, army east, and army north. We could theoretically ship our troops over here, and that might be even be possible. But I'm just not going to do that. We'll take center and put them over here. We'll take east. We'll put them over here. 
and we'll take these guys north uh, we'll just put them over here we still have those uh, army of africa guys four of them five of them even Ooh. oh well, if i take those out there's not much left here uh this has a debuff this has a debuff and these have all debuffs this is going to be a long and hard battle might be tempted to um go over here we'll just have to uh, remove those offensive stuff eastern aragon is going to be removed that's my territory this ai is smarter than the last one hmm did you remember me taking those territory building in those territories because um, those were going to flip to me yeah 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 so so did i hmm. this is a core state though so I can go over here, build two civilian factories, and just go military after that. Can I go to war economy now? No, I cannot. So I'll just go to partial mobilization. I've been waiting long enough. Should have gone to for Prima de Rivera though. But I'll get in next. Same as with the war setup, just walk into territories. And I am going to unselect half of these guys, ship them over to Cadiz, and see if I can reach those ports. We also get new volunteers, because why not? And the enemy is trying to retreat. Of course, we will not allow this. I'm shipping five units to each of these um, ports and see if they can actually reach them. Still have to wait for my offensives to um, kick in. More volunteers, thank you. How's Lend Lease going? Yeah, this is fine. I managed to grab Oviedo. I'm not sure about Bilbao here. It might have been a very bad idea. But still, it counts as Pais Vasco. It has a debuff, so these units arrived at very low orcs. So I'll just have to try and get there as soon as I can before they are destroyed. Into more artillery is done and we'll be we're back on industry now. We might just save Bilbao. And we did. Cool. We also have an encirclement here, but the rest is all debuffed, so that, that's never going to go fast. It would be nice to grab La Coruña, perhaps through naval invasion. But uh, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. It's only June 1937. The removal of some debuffs will uh, will get this thing under control. Eliminate the Carlos's bypass. That saves another 70 days. Oh wait, this William Ritter from Toma. Defense and attack. Is that is that true? Armor divisions. Oh, nice. All right. Screw speed. Um, it's very safe to skip all of this stuff. It, it, you really don't need this stuff. But um, I am going for the Condor Legion just for this once because I want to go with tanks later on. And it's only 35 days. Sure. 
Gimme, gimme, gimme. We also had a bunch of political power and we'll get Jose Antonio de Primo de Rivera. 10% political power gain. Let's start with him. There's more choices under the Falange. We'll get those later. Defensive is done. We can pick a new one. Let's see if the Carlists do one for us. Doesn't look like it. Let's do this by ourselves. Condor Legion is done and we'll establish the directory. Well, the other side is not doing any um, of these decisions, so we'll just have to do it ourselves. What's a smart one? Western Aragon is just a few tiles, and we can cut them off if we take Pamplona, but not entirely. We need Burgos. I think Burgos is the most territory to grab, so I'll just, I'll just do that one. And then I can split up the car list, free up an army, maybe do a naval invasion here. Going to invade here, grab Burgos and link up with Bilbao, then mop up the right side here. Really, if you take anything away from this video, if you don't like the Spanish Civil War, it's how to do micromanagement. You pick a tile that you can attack and you attack it manually. You don't use the battle lines, you just go for it. Nice Fasco has no debuff. Did I do that? It's probably a focus somewhere. Establish the directory is done and we'll go to a one party state. There's a few fo good focuses over here 10% stability, popularity of non aligned, doesn't really matter. Expand conscription, this is all good stuff. We just want to go down faster. One party state is done. This is a very good focus. Minus consumer goods and two civilian factories. And here's a research slot. There's so many good choices with the Falange right now. I'll just go for this one now and then the research slot. This one can only be done when the civil war is over. So there's really no rush here. We got a huge amount of cardists dying out here. So sad their manpower will never join ours. And this entire army has now now has no orders. So we'll try the impossible and get the port of La Coruña. You might be tempted to get more doctrines here, but we need a lot of army experience later to get to um, coring our territories. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to have a look here. We can choose still between the industrial phalanges and the syndicalist phalanges. Consumer goods factories is very good, but we don't need the fascist support. We are at max. The industrial guy is also very good. But I'm going to build military factories later. I'm just going to go with this guy because of the consumer goods. There we go. And let's launch our naval invasion. Let's hope it succeeds. We managed to get La Coruña. This is usually a guarded port, so I'll just grab it now completely. Set the battle line to Leon and go. We are going to take the time to um, go over here to the Dutch East Indies and set a war goal for them. 230 days and that's more than enough to prepare. Well that's unexpected. We have finished the Spanish Civil War already. Falange's victory in the Spanish Civil War. We grab a tiny bit of equipment. We probably took enough victory points to get this done. 
Now that's the end of the Spanish Civil War. The Spanish Directory is now formed. The rest of the game plan is relatively simple. We'll take out the Netherlands. Not because of the Dutch East Indies, so we will abuse Dutch manpower. But because we will have an inroad into Belgium and France for a maximum war score on the side of the Axis. We will attempt to invade the United Kingdom and then from there use our colonies to springboard into the Americas. But that's all for a future video. Well that's it for now. You came this far. You've watched my longest video to date. Be uh, Rest assured my next video will not be this long. I will just uh, I'm showing you the highlights of my future conquest of the Americas. I thought it was necessary to do the Spanish Civil War in depth one time. Uh, probably not get a lot of views out of this, but who cares. Hope you learned a thing or two, even uh, the more experienced players, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.